In this lesson, we will be talking about decomposing the different movements of a time series into a trend, seasonal, and random component. So let's load some example data from the ASTSA package. Install the package, and then I'm going to load that package. And lastly, we're going to load some data, which is called JJ, and it's coming from this package that we just installed. Now this data is the Johnson & Johnson quarterly earnings from 1960 to 1980. Notice that the series is not in a single vector, but split by quarter. We can take a closer look at the index by using the index function on this series. R recognizes that each column is a different quarter of the year, so when we plot this data set, it will look fine. This data looks exponential and seasonal. Let's quickly plot the lag of this series. Now we can see more of a straight trend. What about the lag dot plot? So this looks very interesting. You can see how the returns are trending upwards, but there are some seasonal variations, which in this plot just look like cycling. There's a very nice function called STL, which decomposes the time series. So let's create a new variable, decompJJ, which is gonna be the decomposition of the data set. We also need to set an argument called s.window, and we can use tab completion to get a little more information about it. And we're going to set s.window to be periodic. Now by setting s.window to be periodic, the function will find the seasonality around the average of the series. When we look at the decomposed version of JJ, we'll now see the different components, seasonal, trend, remainder. Let's see what a plot of this looks like. We can now see the seasonality, trend, and remainder in the plot. The quarterly returns tend to get more wild as time goes on. We can adjust for these higher swings at higher returns using the logged version of the data set. Now let's plot it again. Now when we look at the remainder, you can see that it doesn't tend to increase over time, although it does cluster in certain parts. We also have a straighter trend. In this lesson, we talked about the STL function and how it decomposes a time series into a trend, seasonal, and remainder component. A very useful tool when there's a periodic change in each season. And this will allow us to find the magnitude and be better prepared for the future.